Hi, I'm Carly. Welcome to The Last Grown Up in the Woods. Today I am revisiting a video I filmed last year on eating skunk cabbages. I went and tried skunk cabbage, even though eating some parts of it are dangerous, either while well, they're cooked or raw or whatnot. I ate the, the stems boiled many times and they didn't taste particularly good. Um, the rest of the plant is um, poisonous whether you cook it or you eat it raw or not poisonous rather it's got oxalate crystals in it I think that's what they are that um, burn your mouth and stuff but in the video haphazard homestead sent a message saying that the leaves are actually quite lovely if they're dried and I'd read in other places that eating the leaves dried is um, somewhat tasty and can be used as like uh, a spice even so today I'm going to test that out. Skunk cabbage take two! Darn it, the foliage has gotten too thick to find good skunk cabbage. Look at that cool stump behind me. It's like a path leading right up to it. Yeah, so here's the patch I was aiming for. It's not as big as it was last year. It looks like it's dried out a bit. Usually the leaves get giant and um, the flowers are gone. It's too late in the year. I don't know when the best time to collect leaves are. Probably earlier when they're tender, but I was hoping for bigger ones this time of year. I should add that these are the western skunk cabbage or Lysichiton americanum. The eastern skunk cabbage is different, though similar. It still has the oxalate crystals. I don't know um, how edible it is. Um, there are some accounts, you know, I come across it when I was researching this. so. Um, do your research for that. Don't go by this, please. I don't want to be responsible for, um, anything of that sort. I mean, do your own research on skunk cabbage in general. I keep saying it's kind of a dangerous plant, so just don't take my word for it. Just because, um, <laughs> I was okay doesn't mean you will be. Darn it! Now we're talking. Let's hope the oxalate crystals don't do anything to my hand. Because I didn't have the foresight to bring gloves. The road is a bad place for a snail. Oh, right next to the slug. No, we'll put you away from the slug. You're better than him. Why did the snail cross the road? To get to the shell station! Hi there, instead of the usual end screen, I'm just going to end with a quick announcement. You're not going to be seeing me on YouTube for all of August, and that is because tomorrow, well, today, I guess, when this is getting published, I am going to be getting up at 5 a.m. to climb up the mountain, and on top of that mountain, I am going to be getting married to um, the love of my life. And then I'm going on my honeymoon, I won't have any Wi-Fi or um, data or cell phone service for two weeks and then I'm teaching a backcountry course and then I'm doing my own little trip so I'm gonna be gone for all of August and then I'm gonna be moving and things are gonna be crazy so this is kind of a hasty edit you're not gonna see any annotations or proper thumbnails or anything like that
So, so long YouTube, I'll see you in September.